Look at you channeling Bertie. Playing with your food. I suppose I should be grateful that you're not chucking it at the walls. Sorry. I hate to mention it, but have you given any more thought about what you want to do today? I've got a shift at the Rovers. So you're definitely not going to this plea hearing? No. That's exactly what Justin wants, and I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. If you're sure. To tell you the truth, I, I can't really cope with seeing his face again. Being in the same room, breathing the same air, clapping eyes on that vile face of his. But you don't mind if I go? No, of course not. Police said that the judge might actually sentence him today. Fingers crossed, he gets life. I want to be there when he says the word guilty. Well, yeah, if he actually does say it. Well, he's already pleaded guilty to assaulting you. I can't see how he'd try and get out of this. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's nearly over. It's gonna get what's coming. The sooner he's locked up, the sooner I can move on with my life. It's not gonna be quite that easy for Ryan, though, is it? I bought lunch. Uh, thoughtful of you, seems you can't have any. Oh, it's fine. I'll have mine after sundown. I like my day food. Tough day for you and Daisy. I just really wish I could be there when he finally stands up in court and admits what he's done. I just want to look him in the eye, you know? Show him he's not one. When it was Blake and Max's plea hearing, I know I needed a distraction. So, I thought you might appreciate a music quiz. <laughs> okay. My area of expertise. All right, then. Yeah, come on. I'll thrash you, no bother. Uh, I wouldn't be so sure about that, my cocky little friend. Uh, before we get in, in, into any of that, you did uh, mention lunch. Yes. Gran has sent some paranta with paneer and sweet chart to follow. Nice. I see your evil little plan. To make me so fat that I never have to leave this bed, eh? It's one way to protect me from Brian eyes. Ooh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And one, two. Cha, cha, cha. Hey, you shouldn't be bouncing around. You've just had your lunch. <laughs> two, three. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> you shaping up like a donkey in a disco, you. I need more lesson from Little Big Shots. Can I come to South with you tonight? No, you can't. It's a private class. Thank you very much. And I won it. Fair and square. I'll just sit quietly and watch. Mm -mm. Just grown-ups. No kids allowed. And anyway, you've got to get back to school in a minute. We don't want you being late. I know why there's no kids allowed. Sass is all sexy. Sexy? My back sat. See? Well, you won't catch me oiking me hips like that. Set me tenuous off that wood. I shan't be doing that. And I shan't be doing that either. My twerking days are long gone. No, no. You need two people for salsa. Can't do it on your own. Well, we'll see about that. I happen to plough my own furrow, thank you very much. Come on. <laughs> that is well cute. I did Marley make you it? Yeah. She's a fantastic kid. Jackson's done a brilliant job. You still don't trust him with me, do you? You want to get to know your daughter. He comes as part of the package. Yeah, he does for the time being, but once she gets to know me better, I'm sure it'll all change. Oh, thanks, Sean. Hey, you know those gender reveal parties they have now? Oh, yeah, no, I went to one of them once. Mad Dog Braithwaite did this homemade flare grenade, sets it off, glitter comes shooting out straight into his missus's face, boom, blind in one eye. No. Yeah, it were brutal. She wears an eye patch now. Looks dead cool. Well, even without the obvious dangers, those things are way too tacky for me. Why'd you ask? 
Well, I thought we could have one to celebrate our engagement. With confetti shaped like wedding bells and hearts. <laughs> Your face. I was joking. <sighs> we do need to tell people soon, though. <sighs> well, then, you know, I'm still a bit concerned about Tim's reaction. He's not going to be happy. I know he's only looking out for me, but... Oh, he has to realise that I need to live my life. Listen, why don't we leave it for a few weeks till we move into your flat and announce it then? It's not just my flat. You are still keen to move in, aren't you? Of course I am. It just feels wrong freeloading off you. It's not your fault Gabrielle cleaned out your bank account. Look, I've got the money and I don't mind paying for it. No one else need know the details. As far as I'm concerned, the flat is ours.